morning, y'all. It is Monday, May 24th, and it is 6.40 a.m. Yeah, so um, last night was really, really nice. I slept really good. Um, still had a little bit of problems with the quilt, but it wasn't that cool, so it didn't really bother me that much. But now that we woke up this morning, and you can feel it's a lot cooler um, than it was yesterday for sure. So it's only supposed to get to 66 today. So that's pretty awesome. So yesterday I did not record at all. Um, yesterday it was going to get into the low nineties and, um, I knew it was going to be hot and I knew the section wasn't the most photographic, even though we did do the, um, nice edge, the mini nice edge. Um, yeah, so yesterday we hiked, I think we only hiked like 15 and a half miles. We got picked up at the Microtel um, by the Hazes again. Man, they gave us so much trail magic. Yesterday was all about trail magic. Um, let me see. Uh, Bruce came out again with probably one of the best pineapple upside down cakes I've ever eaten. Thank you, Bruce. It was amazing. Tons of drinks, tons of Gatorade. Uh, I met 1D, super, super nice guy, hooked us up with awesome trail magic, lots of drinks, um, gave us some cash, which is all, always amazing. I don't expect it, but it happens, and it always blows my mind when it does. And then um, Ray came out. Ray, it was nice meeting you. 1D, it was awesome meeting y'all. Y'all are awesome. Um, man, really, really good guys. And then... Millie came out with some more key lime pie, which I was like, I'm done. I can't eat anything more. I swear I'm gaining weight out here now because of all the food I've been getting. And I drank, not, I drank so much Gatorade yesterday, which it was hot. So it was amazing. I like, kept my fluid intake in really good. And who else? I think that was it. And then we hiked um, down to Bear Rocks where we left this morning and we camped. Um, hawking me and yeah it was just a really relaxing night yesterday was hot but not horribly hot and um, we paced ourselves and um, yeah it was just an amazing day I just didn't want to record and it was actually nice not to but I am today and we are planning on 15 I think today another short day because we're going to get off um, we're going to go up Lehigh Gap today but we're going to get off today and we're going to start slacking all the way to Delaware Water Gap just to get through PA the rest of PA real quick um yeah so that's the plan so far <laughs> crazy crazy times but I gotta keep on hiking northbound and I will get back with y'all all right
Hello everyone. So I have hiked not I'm not really sure how many miles I've hiked. I'd probably say like five or six. Not really sure. Um been hiking with Hawk, like I'll catch up to him, and then he'll lose me, then I'll catch up to him, then he'll lose me. So it works out like that. We both we both don't mind hiking together and we both don't mind hiking alone, so it works out perfectly. So today, man, it is a nice day. It's a lot cooler. The sun isn't shining, which is nice because it's been so hot. It's just kind of a nice break to have the overcast. And there's a nice little breeze. So, um, oh yeah, so, man, first of all, baked oven knob. I mean, it's, it's such a disgrace, all that graffiti. I mean, it just, ta it completely takes away from it like if i if i lived around there i wouldn't even go there and if i did i would do something about it <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say um and then when we passed bait of a knob shelter i mean it looked like there must have been like at least 15 people there tents everywhere people crazy um yeah so honestly i have no idea how far it is to lehigh gap I think we might be meeting someone when we get to Lehigh Gap, but I'm not I'm not completely sure. I gotta get with Hawk about that. Um he usually makes all the plans about meeting up with people and the arrangements, all that stuff. Um yeah. So other than that, yeah, man, just a, an amazing day so far. Really chill, really relaxing, um pleasant, mild, nice for sure. All right, well I will get back with y'all. Hey y'all, so we made it to Lehigh Gap. And when we got to the bottom, Captain and True Grit were waiting for us with lots and lots of awesome trail magic. Um, Subway Subs, Mountain Dew, Gatorade. Um, I had a little Starbucks espresso, double espresso shot thing. Man, amazing. Thank you so much, Captain True Grit. Man, I mean, the love we're getting in PA is crazy. <laughs> it really is, man. It's amazing. Just all like every gap we go down into, there's just so much trail magic. It's just, I don't know, it's blowing my mind, blowing my mind. So we have 5.4 um, left, and then we're going to get picked up, and then we're just going to be doing a bunch of 
uh, two days of slack packing into uh, Delaware Water Gap. But we have Lehigh Gap to climb. So it's not that bad of a climb, but it's pretty steep too. All right, well, I'm going to keep on hiking northbound and I will get back with y'all. All right. So I think we're about three miles, maybe three and a half miles to where we're getting picked up. And you see that town behind me? That is Palmerton. I have never been in Palmerton. There really isn't any lodging there. Um, there's resupply and places that'll let you stay there from what I understand. But there isn't like any like hotels or specific hostels or anything, at least that I know of and that I can see on gut hooks. So once you um, climb up to, out of Lehigh Gap, up that um, Rocky Mountain, which is, by the way, is amazing. It's a lot of um, hand over hand boulder climbing. And uh, man, I love it. It's fun. Hawk loves it up there. Hawk loves those big old boulder climbs. I do too, man. It reminds me a lot of Maine. A lot of Southern Maine is that. Once you get to the top of those mountains, they're just giant boulders that you climb up on. Yeah, so... Um, Yep, so that is Palmerton, and so once you climb up to the Lehigh Gap and you get down, you're on this ridge, and you will see, if you're going northbound, you will see Palmerton to your left for a while, maybe a mile or two, or something like that. If you're going Sobo, you will see it on your right, and I have done both. Um, 2019, I went Sobo on here, and it was bleak, and not much, no color, and 
cold and I'm going through it today and it's not hot it's actually kind of nice out cool um, but super green lots of flowers birds chirping night and day night and day nice view though very nice view and that view off Lee um, once you get up out of Lehigh Gap man that view is amazing but y'all saw it all right well I'm gonna keep on hiking northbound and I will get back with y'all all right Alright y'all, so we made it to Blue Mountain Road where we are going to get picked up and I think we decided we're just going to try maybe go find a motel, right? Like a little hotel. Um, it's just easier to edit that way and it's just more privacy. So, um, oh, who's picking us up again? Rob Brands. Rob Brands? So Rob Brands is picking us up today. I haven't met him yet. Um, so I'm looking forward to meeting him and he's 
he's the one who's going to pick us up and um, slack pack us the next two days into uh, Delaware Water Gap, where we're hoping, we're not sure, we're either going to do like a almost 18 and a 13 or just two more 15s, um, depending on if we can get picked up at this road or not. But yeah, so we're just gonna chill out here and wait for our ride. And when I get into town or wherever I get to, I will get back with y'all. All right. So I'm going to end the video for today. So we ended up getting picked up at uh, Blue Mountain Road, I believe it is. Um, Rob picked us up, took us back to his house. Um, we met his wife, Michelle, and family. Awesome. Um, then they brought us back to Allentown, I believe we are. We got a motel room. Then they picked us, and then Rob picked us up, brought us back to the house. We had dinner. His wife, Michelle, cooked us dinner. It was amazing. Thank you for all the hospitality, Rob and Michelle. Thank you so much. It was amazing. And he's going to slack pack us the next two days. So that is super awesome. Um, and then he brought us back here. And now it's pretty late. It's like 1045 p.m. And I'm just finishing up the video. And I'm doing this ending part. And um, yeah, so today, man, today was amazing. The views, the trail just was epic, um, and the weather was cool, and I liked that it was overcast today. It just kind of, it was actually nice for a change, because we've been having like crazy, crazy bright, sunshiny days, which I never complain about. It's just that with the heat, man, just kind of made you feel dazed at the end of the day, and today was just pretty much amazing all the way through, yeah. And what else? Um... I think that's about it. Um, oh, and a lot of water. Um, God, I think his name's Mud. I'm not really sure, but there's a certain guy who leaves all this water out. And I don't know if you happen to be watching these videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for leaving all that water. You are a godsend and it's much appreciated and much needed. So thank you so much. Yep, I think that's about it. So I will talk with y'all in the morning. All right.